Hi guys, I'm Monica Blunder, celebrity makeup artist. I'm very excited because I got to shoot my very first solo makeup tutorial in a while. Today, I did this really easy, everyday, uh, glowy summer makeup look. Let's jump into it. So I'm gonna clip my hair back. And you guys, I haven't done a official sit down YouTube video for a really long time. And I'm a little nervous because I forgot how to shoot a YouTube video. <laughs> um, Jess is sitting right next hi. to me. She's saying hi because she's writing down all the notes of all the products I'm using. So I'm gonna use, obviously, Monica Blunder Beauty, but I'm also going to show you guys a few new products that I have been loving. And uh, I have nothing on my skin right now, so I'm going to prep my skin always with undercover face cream. You guys know that I think prepping your skin is, for me, the most important thing because if you prep your skin right, your makeup will always look so much better. And that's something I do when I get a celebrity ready for red carpet or when I do a photo shoot, I always spend an extra 10-15 minutes on prepping my client's skin because then I know that the makeup just goes on beautifully. Um, Undercover was really a creation um, that I really wanted to have a product that works great on all skin types. So this really works great on all skin types. And what I love about it, it really, the ingredients are so pure and they're so clean. And I love that it kind of like, um, reduces the redness in your skin. I personally have a lot of redness in my skin, so it really, really helps. Another product I love to layer with undercover is our face oil. This here is the Do Better Face Oil. A lot of people are loving face oils, but there's also a majority of women out there that are really afraid of face oils. And uh, they think that they already have oily skin and it will make them look more oily, and it's not true. I think that if you haven't tried a face oil, give it a try. I love layering it with undercover and I put it on top of undercover, especially on the makeup, on the high points of my face to get that like glow from within works really well. And you can see I press the oil into my skin instead of like rubbing it in, I press it into my skin. And whatever is left, I'm just going to put on my arms. Another thing I like to do when I'm prepping my skin, obviously you could give yourself a little massage right now. You can use some kind of tool to like stimulate your skin and look at like your blood flowing. So whatever you need to do. Um, I like to always prep my lips as well. So Think about your lips also an important part to prep when you do your uh, skincare, because especially if you're using a nice thick balm, this is our Monica Blunder lip tint in the shade Winter, which is clear. While I'm doing my makeup, my lips have time to sort of absorb this product. And then when I get to the lips, they're really nice and moisturized. I feel like my skin right now is in pretty good condition. I have been um, out in the sun quite a lot and I feel like my skin got a little bit more tan, but I'm really happy with the way how my skin looks at the moment. So I'm not going to cover it up with too much foundation. I'm going to use Blender Cover, which is our concealer foundation hybrid product. And um, I'm going to use three different shades. And what's so unique about this product, again, it's a hybrid, and you can use it in so many different ways. You can just use it as a concealer, you can use it in your T-zone, you can sheer it out with the buffing brush, and you can literally create a foundation with it. You can also use the lighter shades for highlighting, and the darker shades work amazing for contour, and even as a cream shadow. So I'm going to use shade three, which is my perfect match. And then I'm going to use shade two, which I'm gonna use underneath my eyes for a little bit of highlighting. And I'm going to use shade six to five for bronzing contour. 
I'm going to start with shade two and I'm going to pick it up with our hybrid brush. You can also use your finger. So it really depends on how you like to work. I show you the finger works really well or you can pick it up with the brush. I'm going to use my little Ricky mirror, which I love because my mirror is quite far away and I need to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use shade two and you can see that's definitely a shade lighter, but don't be scared because I'm going to show you how this works with the other shades. So I always start by with two. You could also put two a little bit on the high points of your cheeks and I'm using shade three in my T-zone where I need most of my coverage around my chin and above my lip where I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. And right now this looks a little crazy and it's not blended in yet, so bear with me. I'm going to put it a little bit onto my forehead as well. And then what I like to do is I like to switch out brushes. So we also have our angled brush, which is this guy, and it's really nicely, densely packed. And this is a really great buffing brush. And with this brush, I can really buff the product into my skin. I like to kind of like start in the center and I work my way outwards. And I just push the product outwards because here I don't feel like I need a lot of foundation or coverage. So I really want to again focus more in here and whatever is left on my brush, I bring outwards. Don't forget to bring the product down to your neck. And then I can use my finger to kind of just like pat the product in so it looks more believable and more real. And see how like it all now blends really beautifully together. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of shade three on my eyelid. because My eyelids tend to get really dark or red. And for me personally, I'm really happy with this kind of finish. I don't feel like I need more makeup. What's really unique about Blender Cover is if you do have some pigmentation, redness, uh, dark spots, you can always go in with your perfect shade, which is my shade is shade three on our little tulip brush. And um, you can pinpoint conceal. So um, I here have a little bit discoloration as an example. So I would go directly onto that pigmentation with shade three and tap it on it and then you can use your finger and sort of spread it out and your finger kind of like warms it up and it makes it look invisible. Now I'm going to go in with shade 625. It's a brand new one. It's hard to dip into a brand new one and I'm going to use my smaller hybrid brush for that. And I'm going to just do a really, really slight contour. Just right here, you see? Now I like to also bring a little bit of that darkness into the temple and onto my forehead as well, because we wanna make it look realistic. If you just contour here, it kind of looks fake. So I just want to bring a little bit dimension sort of like all over the face. And then I want to do the same thing on my jawline. Now this needs to be blended in. So I'm going to switch out my brush again and I'm using the bigger angle brush and I'm buffing that into the skin. So I'm not rubbing as you can see, I'm tapping 
the product into my skin. So do not swipe, tap. I want you to see that you can also use the six to five on your eyes. I love using it in my eyes, just like a, almost like a cream shadow. So I'm using the smaller tulip brush and I'm bringing the shade six to five in the socket of my eye. And I'm pulling it upwards and outwards a little bit right here. So a little bit of dimension and you can also bring it a little bit on your lower lash line. Same thing here. All right, I just added a little bit of that six to five in my eye socket and I'm gonna set it with this Bakeup eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this shade right in here. And I'm going to just use the same brush, the Tulip brush. And I'm just going to set it. And it also will intensify the shade or the color a little bit more. Use this Rare Beauty Brow Gel. I recently had my brows tinted by Christy Stryker. So it's really nice when you tint your brows. I feel like they're a little bit darker now, so I don't really need to do a lot to them. But I do like to, to give them like a little bit of a lift. And for that, I love using this Rare Beauty Brow Gel. I've tried so many brow gels and this one right now is my favorite. Brow gels can be tricky. If the formula is too thick, it can actually crack and flake and you don't want that. So this formula is perfect. And those are my brows. And then I'm gonna go back to my eyes. They were just driving me crazy. They were going all over the place. So my brows are set and my eyes are just like slightly contoured with those two products I showed you. And now I'm gonna go in with, because this is like a daytime, sort of like no makeup, makeup glowy look. So I don't want a lot of eye makeup, but I'm going to just enhance my lash line a little bit. I'm obsessed with these Make Beauty Liquid Line Liner. Um, they come in so many fun colors. Uh, they even come in white, in light blue, in yellow, in black, in brown. I really like this um, burgundy shade. And the burgundy shade for me works really well because it really brings out the green in my eyes. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to do a really thin line on my upper lashes. And uh, I might go in between my lashes too a little bit to just like thicken my lash line. So I usually start sort of in the middle and it really helps if you have a hand mirror in front of you and good lighting is important as well. So I'm just going to go really close to my lash line. And then I'm going to bring it all the way in but try to be as thin as possible in the inner corner. And then you can be a little bit thicker, starting sort of in the middle, going outwards. But this pen is so user-friendly and so easy to use, really hard to mess up with it. You also could do a little baby wing if you want to. It's just a little bit hard for me right now to do this because I need my other hand for it. Jess, would you mind holding this mirror for me right here? What I like to do is I like to kind of hold my hand right here and I, and I pull my eye out just a little bit like that. And then I go from outwards inwards. And then I pick it up underneath and I go upwards. And it just gives me the slightest little baby wing. It's very, very slight. Just like that. And I'm going to also use the pen and I'm going to go on my upper inner water rim. 
and then I can we can put the pen in between the lashes just like that just for a little bit of fullness okay I did both sides I'm pretty happy with the way how it looks in the evening you can definitely extend the liner and bring it outwards a little bit more if you want to but this is like my daytime makeup look so I'm happy with it I'm going to curl my lashes now and um, what I like to do is I like to curl them individually so I like to start with one eye do the curler do the mascara and then do the other eye this is my first eye I'm working on And then I'm going to apply our Monica Blonde Beauty Brown Mascara because I think the brown and the purple go so well together. So one little trick I like to do is I like to really stamp the brush really close to the root of my lashes and then pull it upwards. And what that does is it almost like thickens your lash line naturally with the brown. And I like to start with one coat, let this dry. And while this is drying, I work on my other eye. All right, so this is one coat. I'm gonna do two coats. So what's really unique about this mascara is that it's really buildable. So you can do one coat for a more natural finish, two, three, four coats, for more intense finish so I'm going to do two today and for those who don't know the mascara is absolutely clean and vegan and I don't know if you guys know but it's really difficult to create a beautiful clean mascara and I'm really really proud of this mascara it came out amazing made in Italy clean formulation and we have it in black and in brown you could now brush out your lashes with either a comb or a little spoolie. I like doing that just to be extra precise. It's all in the little details, you know, taking your time with brushing out your lashes, blending, all these things really matter when you do a professional makeup application right so I'm moving on to complexion we have blender cover on a little bit of a contour now I'm going to use our liquid flash in shade Roam. this is my personal favorite color a lot of people when they first look at the color they're like mm, I'm not sure if I can wear this this looks really orange I am obsessed with this color and it looks good on everyone it gives you that perfect sun-kissed finish so our liquid flushers are amazing you just literally have to put one or two dots just like that and again it's a liquid formulation so you could use your fingers now if you want to I'm going to just use our hybrid brush that I used earlier and I'm going to just blend it in And this formula is super forgiving, super easy to blend. And you can see after two strokes, the product is blended into the skin. I'm also going to lift whatever is left and bring it across the bridge of my nose because I want it to have more of a sun-kissed finish. And think where the sun would naturally hit your face. So usually you get a little bit of a sunburn around your nose and I'm bringing it onto my high points of my cheeks and right now you can see it's not blended in perfectly I like to go back to my bigger brush which has a little bit of blender cover left and I'm using it to blend out the edges of the blush so right around here on top right here and right here
I love the way how this looks on my skin. It just looks so fresh and natural. You could now add a little bit on your eyes. So I'm going to just use our smaller tulip brush and just add a little bit of that onto the brush. You can also just tap it off on your hand if you feel like you put too much on. And I'm just going to bring that color a little bit onto my eyelid. And I love doing this because it just sort of like brings cohesion into your eye makeup or into your makeup. And I love using the same colors because it just use, it looks very like cohesive. And it just brightens my eyes. I love it. All right, now this highlighter is a brand new product by Dior and I've been loving this highlighter. And also it has a little doe foot applicator, so it's very easy to use. So I'm going to just bring that onto the high points of my cheeks. I'm also going to add it a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Onto my cupid's bow. And I'm going to bring it in the inner corner of my eye. Right there. For the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use our tulip brush again. Make sure it's clean so you can just use like a little Kleenex if you have and just wipe it so you take off the excess of the room shade. And then I'm going in and I'm blending the highlighter into my eye makeup. You can also bring it a little bit on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to switch out my brush to the hybrid brush. Again, I'm going to clean it a little bit on a Kleenex. And I'm blending in my highlighter. Make sure, don't forget the bridge of your nose. But I love the finish of this highlighter. It's not too glittery, especially with mature skin. You have to be careful with how much highlighter you use because it can actually go into the fine lines and actually do more damage than highlighting. And then I want my mouth just like that. And before I do my lips, I'm going to just do a little bit of powder. I'm not a huge powder fan, but I feel like we need to powder just a little bit. I'm going to use my little Charlotte Tilbury brush or powder. And I'm going to powder underneath my eyes. Around my nose, forehead, and around my chin area. Perfect. All right, I'm going to use shade Renee as a lip liner. And then I'm going to use our Kiss and Lush lipstick in the shade Florence. I love the shade. It has like the perfect kind of like dusty rose pinky shade. And then the finished this makeup look, I'm going to use a little bit of our new launch, which just launched literally two weeks ago. It's our Sweet Talk lip oil, which is amazing. And this is shade Feige. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in the center for a little bit of hydration. And that's it. That's my makeup look. Da 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 da. I love it. What do you guys think? I feel very glowy. Now I just need a place to go. <laughs> All right. Done, you guys. I hope you liked my very first YouTube video back in action. 
I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun shooting a YouTube video for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.